Hey guys, so today I'll be going over um, directed line segments, also known as partitioning line segments. And I'll be going over it in two ways. The first way, which is in uh, this video right now, is going is using the graph to figure out um, how to solve for this problem. And the second way, which will be in another video, is to use a systematic way um, that uh, myself and my students came up with. Um, that's uh, using the algebra that we know to figure out um, this point as well. So let's let's get started. The coordinates of the endpoints of AB are a negative six comma negative five and b four comma zero. Point P is on AB. Determine it and state the coordinates of point P such that AP to PB is two to three. The use of the set of axes below is optional, so we're actually going to use the uh, axes below this time. Now the first thing you want to do is plot the points. So we have negative six negative 5, okay, that will represent our A, and then we have 4 comma 0, that's our B. So once you plot those points, you want to take your ruler and connect them. And somewhere along this line segment is going to be the point P, but that point P is going to divide this line segment into a 2 to 3 uh, ratio. So that means that means unlike the midpoint where everything's divided equally, uh, the first portion is going to be smaller, uh, twice some amount, and the the second portion is going to be bigger, three times some amount. All right. So given that our ratio is two to three, we want to look at this as a part to part because that's what it is. All right. The first part is twice something. The second part is three times something. Now. Using that part to part, we can find out what the whole is. And the way we do that is by adding the two parts. So we know that the whole is going to be 2 plus 3, which is 5. So we can divide this line segment up five times, right? So if you count this 1, 2, 3, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it's 10 across. We can just divide it um, equally by, by two, two spaces each. So I'm just going to mark that. And now I end up with one, two, three, four, five segments. Great. Okay, so I want to plot my point somewhere on this graph that breaks up into a two to three ratio. Again, the first part is going to be uh, two something, uh, and the second part is going to be three something. Now, when you are looking for your point on the line segment, you want to travel from left to right. So starting from the left end point, you're going to go over one, two spaces, because our left number is two. And our on the right of that should just be three spaces, three um, parts over, one, two, three, which is exactly what we see. So that means this point right here is our partitioning point, point P. And the coordinates for that is going to be negative two, comma, negative three. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to be making a video for the algebraic way. Um, it might take a bit longer, but. Uh, once you see both methods, you will then decide which one's better for you. Uh, if you have any questions or you want me to elaborate on any of this, please leave um, comments or questions in the comment section below. And um, hope uh, look out for the next video. All right, guys. Bye.